Hi love, today is Sunday again and I'm so excited to have this talk with you. Ah, I'm always waiting for this day to have the moment with you. Before we dive into this subject today, I want to let you know that at the end of the video, I will announce the giveaway from last giveaway with Nick Cred. And the winner, again, I put the photo around here, will receive two skeins of this pink blush colors yarn and the booklet from Nick Cred directly. So if you see your name as a winner, then congratulations. <laughs> and uh, send me an email with your full name and last name and the address that you would like need credit to send you the prize just that and another thing I want to let you know that I'm going to release the pattern of Judy love cardigan I know many of you are waiting so today gonna be the day that the pattern will hit the shop on Ravelli and Essie and one more thing because now I'm running the pre-order before the pattern hit the shop so with the pre-order you able to get it with the small exchange I will put the link down below for you as well the pre-order is happen is happening on my website and it's going to be um, the pattern manually sent out from me today at 7 p.m. Central European time zone because I'm living in Germany. So you have all the information there. If you do a pre-order, you get it cheaper than in the shop because I wanted to give a little discount for all of you that want to do a pre-order directly from me. Yeah, now let's talk to, let's come to the topic that I wanted to chat with you. I wanted to show you some picture around here also. Yesterday we went out, my husband and I, Kai, we went out for a walk and it was very beautiful sunshine and today is supposed to be a sunshine as well. And yesterday we decided to go out because I made this hat for him and I think it's so cute now that we have this kind of uh, matching couple hat together. Everything was very beautiful, we went for a walk and it was a little bit cold so we didn't stay so long time and yeah I just feel like I know that this day I work so so hard and so much like I create lots of things during the week, I film many video, I I just feel like this this with YouTube, I want to be honest with you also because the only way I can connect with all of you is to be me. So I want to let you know that to have a YouTube channel and to put myself out there and to keep creating the contents take a lot of time and energy from me. Although I love doing it so much, like today I wake up and just like, oh, I wanted to share with you what has come to my way and Sunday is just a good day to have this opportunity to talk to you. And then I, I have so much to talk to you, but one thing that I wanted to let you know that this timing time consuming of making a video is take away the time from being with my husband and also I, I recognize it that sometimes I I just too excited now for this journey that unfold that I was like so much to share, so much to tell him and I think in a relationship I think maybe you can relate also if you are a creator and if you also have a YouTube channel and your partner doing something else, like he's also a creator. We are a creator. We are a creator in what we are doing. He's an amazing artist. I will also put the link and he have a YouTube channel as well. I put the link for you somewhere here and then you can see his art. He's an amazing artist, but he's like, don't like to talk so much about his art and he's very shy to, you know, like, selling something and um he asked it's like visionary art and um with the mandala and flower of life most of my inspiration from flower of life is actually come from him and i'm very grateful but i realized that sometimes my excitement um get too much and i couldn't stop talk about oh what i'm gonna do today with my video this is my design is coming and i think sometimes it's a little bit too much for a man to to handle all of this because this thing i should be talking with my friends now like with you with uh, my girlfriends and just because we live in such a remote place i only see my friend maybe one time a month i going to the city and seeing a friend yeah, and not even every month, so most of the time I'm just here in my place, in my space and, and create something. Like I work with uh, with people online and do guided meditation and most of the time now, all of my time now I dedicate to create a pattern and crochet because this is what I love so much and this is what I keep talking about so much and I realized that 
um, I realized that sometimes I I my word or the way I I share is how could I say like somehow I unconsciously I expect him to to um, answer or to not to answer but um, to give the um, I don't even know how to say like I think the expectation the first thing is expectation expectation is not a good thing to have because even though how excited you are and what you do the person who you talk to perhaps don't even have any interest in what you are talking it's not that he's not interested but like sometimes I just too excited to say something and if the response is like you know I feel that the person or I feel that he's not give full attention of what I speak and ask the same question I get a little bit like oh I just said to you why don't you listen and I just realized that this is not a good habit because this is your thing I just tell myself you know I'm I'm sit with myself I look through it to my feeling like why do I feel like not angry but it's like upset and, and when I'm Upset is actually it's a little bit too much also this word but like I raise my voice when I have to repeat it again and that is not so nice especially in the relationship because you should come to meet the person that you live with in a way that if you want to share something don't expect anything in return just share because you want to share and also keep in mind I'm telling myself this and I hope that this may be useful for you as well if you are in the same or similar position like me as a designer crocheter or the one who loved to crochet so much and couldn't stop talk about the project and the design and couldn't talk stop talking about oh I'm going to do this video and that video and the person next to you totally in his mood and doing his thing especially Kai he's so into this um yeah it's just so beautiful like when I talk about him now I just realize that how beautiful he is that how calm and how how chill he is you know in the time that I I feel like I want to create I want to grow I want to, to make it um my way that everything yeah growing and my way of doing things is so much excitement in that and for me I have so much pa so much passion in what I'm doing and sometimes this passion it's just it's good you know it's, it's dive it's drive me um into the direction I want to be but I also have to keep in mind that when I share with someone who have his own momentum and own movement I have to meet him in a half way, not like jump on him and say, like, hey, look, 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 I'm doing this, and da, 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 da. And now I'm talking to you, I start to see it from the outside perspective, and it feels so good. I feel that sometimes, no, my ego, like, I don't want to say sorry because I didn't do anything wrong, but actually saying sorry is not about doing anything wrong. Saying sorry is about giving a respect to the person that you love, and if you feel that, your word um, somehow hurting the other person it's okay to say sorry because say sorry is also part of love you know if you love the person love should be bigger than your ego and to say sorry is like you hugging someone with your word and word is so powerful you know like when we say something beautiful to someone we love or when we hear something beautiful from someone we love we feel this power we feel empowered and we feel that all this obstacle is become so small because we have this support and that's why when I read your comment and yeah or I ask you to comment in the video because sometimes I feel that I put all these times and this effort so much into this YouTube thing now and I love it. I love doing it because I asked, actually talked to a friend last night that I shift my uh, direction, not direction, but attention a little bit because before I'm very full time into a guided meditation and connect with those who already on this pathway, who already practice the meditation, who already doing this work. but through crochet there's so many people when they talk about meditation they don't know and don't understand what does it mean the meditation but 
I want to use crochet as a medium to connect with you, with those who actually don't know what is meditation, but doing it all the time, like through crochet, we take the time to, to connect with ourselves and through words, word is so important and what I want to say to you that I empower people through my words that is my work and now I want to combine my words with the crochet and to connect because I know there's so many people out there so many women that crochet to help them to overcome depression and loss in their life and so many things illness and so on and I wanted to support them to understand that they are in the right way and they are doing what they love and that is to step into the creator power and not a victim because we are all a creator if we can create from the thread and yarn we are actually a magician we create a beautiful thing we appear we we can do everything with our hands right so let's come back to this so that's what i want to say that your comments and your word is mean so much to me and i realized that yeah but I do it very often with my husband, like if I say something and I feel like mm, that was so a little bit too hard, I just come to him and hug him and say, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. And so that's what I wanted to inspire you or empower you today that if you sometimes don't have to be your husband, can be your best friend, your mother, your father, your sister, everyone that you love in your life. And sometimes if you think that your word hurt them it's okay to come to them and say I'm sorry I didn't mean to and you have to feel it not just say it you have to ask yourself and, and look through it and to know and realize that words can create and in the same time can destroy and we have the power our words it our weapon somehow and we can choose to be a warrior of love or uh, the one who destroy everything. Wow, thank you so much. I really love the Sunday talk <laughs> with you. And before I leave, because I don't want this video to be so long, I want to also share with you the book that I'm listening again and again. Last night I listened again a little bit. The book called For The Four Agreement. Have you heard about this book? I write it down, the, the writer name, Don Miguel Luz. I hope I pronounced his name right. And I wanted to share with you this four agreement, just the four agreement that he touched on in this book. And if you like it, you can just also purchase the book from Amazon. And um, I got it from Audible. And I got it uh, audio book because I love to listen to audio book. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Exactly what I just now share with you. And I feel like it's so so powerful and so important and the second one is don't take anything personally this is also something I'm practicing every single day because this is what we all need if we take everything personally then I think we cannot live in our world in this world because like for example sometimes people say something not so nice about you and if you think about what they say then you just have to wasting your time all day trying to understand and we cannot understand that because sometimes people make a comment or say something out of their own belief and their own projection of how they view life and that is nothing to do with us what they think about what they see us is that their own belief of who they think we are and they might not know us at all and if we try to please everyone we just gonna running around and doing nothing and in the end of the day we're gonna cry because we cannot please anyone we just have to be ourselves and don't take anything personally that is so important yeah and the third thing is don't make assumptions that is like the other way around so if we don't take things personally from other people also we should not make an assumptions of someone else and this so so powerful teaching no like how could you say something about someone you don't know and you don't even know what they've been through and we think like this that why they make a decision the way they do we don't know because we don't know what they've been through so to be a witness is the best place to be the witness is the place to be 
Learn to be the witness and not be the judge. I tell myself every single day, and I wanted to share this with you as well. And the last one is always do your best. This is my practice every single day. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this talk with me. If you like this video, just give it a thumb up and share with your friends and as many people as possible, so that my message can fly and flowing all over the place on internet. Feel free to share my video also on our social media if you love to. You don't have to ask. You can do it. You know, you're allowed to do it. And that's why I I talk. To you via YouTube. That's why I have YouTube because I want everyone to share my word and my message. Thank you so much, my beautiful friends. I feel so good already. Thank you so much for listening for listening to me. Your time so precious. I understand that, and I am grateful that you choose to be with me today for a little minutes of you. I think it's about ten minutes. I hope not. Too long. I see you on Wednesday. And by the way, I forgot. Um, I film another video with the hat and uh, the hat that I'm wearing with with Kai together. That we have a partner hat. I film that video as well, and I'm going to download here. But because I have the upcoming video for you on Wednesday, I'm not telling you yet what it's gonna be. It's gonna be surprise. And the hat I'm going to upload. Maybe on one of these day, but it's gonna be in the schedule uh, post. It's gonna be on my channel in the next two weeks. And if you want to see it before I publish here, you can sign up to my mailing list, and you're gonna get the link when I send out the newsletter, the love letter I would like to call, and it's totally free. I just want you to be part of my exclusive my Yaluna Corazon tribe. And I see you all social media. Find me on Instagram under the name Maya Luna Corazon. Also on Facebook, and join us on the group where you can uh, enter or apply to be the tester of my upcoming written pattern. I see you next time. Bye bye. I love you.